Hello and welcome to this special report here at XM.com. We'll be discussing AI's impressive rally in stock markets and the outlook going forward. I'm Maria Pachardiz and with me to shed light on all this is Senior Investment Analyst Harlem Bospisuros. So Harlem, undoubtedly the demand for chips is surging across the world and NVIDIA is continuing to drive the S&P 500 to new record highs. The question at the forefront of all investors' minds is, how much longer can the AI rally last? Is it near its final stages, or is there more fuel in the tank? Hello, Maria. I believe that there is no simple and easy answer to your question. On the one hand, there are those who believe that the turning point is near, as the AI hype has already surpassed the 90s uh, dot-com bubble, as the top companies in the S&P 500 today are more overvalued than the top firms then. On the other hand, there are those saying that the earnings performance is uh, suggesting that Wall Street is not in trouble, at least not yet. As you said, demand for chips is surging across the globe, and according to Nvidia's CEO, they expect it to continue to be stronger than their supply. What's more, beyond the business-to-business -business part of chip making, the product has well-reached consumers. Apart from the subscriptions to web-based and app-based chatbots, tech giants have already begun introducing AI phones, AI TVs, and AI PCs, all equipped with chips that are responsible for executing each product's AI functionalities. Ro robotics is also entering the discussion. Yes, creating larger robot, robots is more expensive uh, than just developing chips for running software on computers, but introducing robotics in large organizations is very likely to result in cost savings, while also boosting productivity and thereby profitability. Now, since the world might only just be starting to get a taste of how AI can impact our lives, I believe that Yes, there may be more future growth opportunities to be priced into the market. From a multiples perspective, the forward price to earnings ratios of almost all the magnificent seven tech giants are higher than the forward price to earnings ratio of the S&P 500, but they are below their 2023 highs. Now, combined with that, Nvidia's projections of growing uh, cash flows for the quarters and years ahead suggests that, um, that NVIDIA's stock may continue to conquer new highs for a while longer, despite being already by far the main gainer in the S&P 500. So what are the downside risks to this view? What should investors keep their eyes on? The vertical rally in NVIDIA suggests that even the slightest concern or even just uh, locking profits could result in a sharp decline. For example, any tensions between China and Taiwan could trigger worries. China is not, recognized, uh, is, not re is not recognizing Taiwan as a sovereign state, while for the construction of their chips, most uh, chip makers rely on one company in Taiwan called TSMC. Having said that though, even if chip makers come under selling interest at some point soon, any declines could still be considered as a corrective phase rather than the, begin than, uh, the beginning of a full-scale bear market. AI investors may abandon chip makers like Nvidia, but they may decide to increase their exposures to more established uh, tech stocks like Alphabet, Amazon, Apple, Meta, and Microsoft, which are, also, which are also expanding their businesses in the AI field. The best candidate for diverting flows may be, may be Alphabet. Google's parent seems to be the only magnificent seven stock that is cheaper than the S&P 500, while in terms of performance, it has not deviated much from the index, which means that it's not stretched more than the broader market. Also, another factor keeping high growth tech firms offered may be expectations that the Fed will start lowering interest rates at some point later this year. The market has indeed priced out a significant amount of uh, base point worth of reductions since the start of the year, but given that equity traders are mostly long-term investors, they may not be so concerned if rate cuts are delayed by a few months, especially if this is mainly due to a better than expected economic performance. The fact that uh, no additional hikes are not on the table may be more than enough for them. Now, investors may 
may only decide to flee out of the stock market if expectations of delayed rate cuts are accompanied by disappointing growth estimates by big tech firms at the upcoming earnings season. Armambus, thanks so much. And thanks for joining us for this special report here at XM.com.